Hello, I'm the French Edge. Tonight I'm in London for the Red Dot Relief event. The London community is getting together and dancing for Japan. But what's Red Dot Relief? Who are the people involved? How did the magic happen? We'll find out all the answers to these questions. Maybe have a boogie? Probably have lots of fun. See you inside. Oh, we are such lucky motherfuckers. The love revolution has begun. As a world, we are like one organism. It's like we are one, one body. So one part of the world being her is being sort of a liver of the body being damaged. So it's our pri priority to help that side. So as a whole, we can keep going further. So full support from this side. We love Japan! What's Red Dot Relief? Uh, Red Dot Relief is a um, kind of awareness organization. It's a call to action. Uh, where after the earthquakes in uh, Japan, uh, I and uh, my fiance had come up, we uh, felt like we needed to do something, right? So uh, we, put our, we put our heads together and we thought, hey, let's make kind of some way um, to get different artists throughout electronic music to donate, um, to donate money. First, we started working with Jay Hayes and this other girl, Isis, um, who had already worked with a Japanese organization called Peace Boat. Peace Sport is a non-governmental and non-profit organization out of Tokyo who goes around the world in kind of this boat and does different missions. Uh, it's like a somewhat like Greenpeace, but not Greenpeace, not as controversial in the world. And uh, tonight is our um, official fundraiser that uh, we put on. Uh, and uh, Mel ha had uh, set up with uh, her friend Dion here. And then there's uh, kind of two events. There's this one, which is a uh, art showcase of the past 10 years in London. Decade of London clubbing in photos from three photographers. And uh, then the other thing is a uh, more of a club event. Um, there is uh, Jamie Jones, um, Craig Richards, Darren Smart, myself, Ryan Crossan, uh, Joseph, yeah, yeah and, um, and Nick, Nick, yeah, yeah, and, and Klaus, and Klaus Walkman, yeah, yeah. So um, basically, we're here not only to kind of um, give a hand to Japan, but also to celebrate life, I guess, in many, many ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. celebrate what's the, the London scene coming together as a community. Yeah. We have a very tight-knit scene, even though it's like a sprawling metropolis. There's a nice underground movement, everyone coming together for a good reason to raise funds for such a horrible disaster and hopefully it'll be ongoing it won't just be for the one call so. what's the tuning spork efforts team well the tuning sporks effort team um, is something that we have and we've been working not only um, when there is a catastrophe worldwide but um, there are a lot of charities and social efforts that we work we did toys and needs in December which is basically helping people in Latin America in the slums. And um, we have contact with artists all over the world. Um, for that particular project, we're concentrated in Latin America and we're helping people. We just decided that you know, we could offer a better Christmas to kids and their families um, in the favelas. And we did it. It was really amazing what came out of it. And the fact that you know, Jay has a history doing projects like that, like with the J's for DIC, and I came on board with uh, Toys and Needs. So when the tsunami came on, uh, we already had something in place. Um, Seth and Sonoya and all the guys uh, said, you know what, we, we want to do something. So we had all that infrastructure, because it's really hard, like, you know, sometimes artists or promoters, they do want to help, but the infrastructure is not it's not obvious on how you can help. We had a lot of promoters coming to us and said, you know, I wanted to help, but I couldn't find out how. And what we did, we actually have the infrastructure built so we can establish links for this money to reach the right people. We didn't want, we, we are very careful of the charities that we work with, because some of them, they're massive charities. They work in a worldwide scale 
and we wanted something local that we can make sure that our money is actually getting to the people that it needs to get to. So we have daily reports from Japan, from Peace Boat, and these are people that we know. And Jay and myself and everyone in our team, when we do something like that, we become personally involved with the cause because daily they tell us, you know, that person, this, that help has reached this way. And that's what keeps us going. And that's, you know, what we see that it's happening instead of going to a, you know, worldwide charity that we don't know where our money is going. I mean, it's scary, but there's something going on and the earth is waking up and we all have to take part in doing something good because that's what the universe needs right now. It needs people thinking about how we do good for everybody and that's what's good for me. <laughs> totally. We love Japan! <laughs> yeah. because what's happening is pure love and togetherness and in a world that's so cold and only getting colder, this is what we need. And Let's get down. Positive vibe of I want to help. But it's very important that everyone realizes that electronic music has a lot of good to offer in uh, today's culture. There is culture to be learned, there is love to be shared, and there is always something positive that you can share with the guy dancing next to you. Music. Yes, and together we're stronger! the magic happen. I think when we all combined it, we got together, that's when the real power happened and that's how we made the magic happen. And also in a very fast way, like we, we had to put this together in a number of days and to reach, you know, Miami in, in a way and, and the way that people took part in it was like, you know, we went onto Facebook and all of a sudden everyone had their, their profile pictures with our logo and and then you see how powerful you can be just by trying to influence people and saying, hey, can we just stop a little bit and say, yes, we're having fun, we're enjoying our music, but can we use that to make the good? And it's not much, like you're not asking, you know, huge artists to say donate. No, you have enough influence to get 
each person to, to donate, we, we experienced ourselves with perhaps smaller projects. I think one, one aspect that really helped is that um, you know, through our links in London, we have a big community. We have artists that get involved in absolutely everything, from fashion designers to photographers. I think yeah. we're at a point right now where everybody realizes there's a big change happening, and there is. Um, people are starting to wake up to what's going around, and they want to take part in something special, something unique, and using music for what it was actually naturally meant to do, which is uh, spread love and information about our history and to help make sure that our history will continue. Uh, so I think that was very important to this event and what makes it special is that it was a cultural thing. Get involved. You all got talent, you all got something and everyone can do a little bit and little bit by bit it can make something big and we can change the world. Yeah, let's just change it in our way. Exactly. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thanks everyone for your participation and for the love and let's do more of this and let's do it independently. Let's do it together. Just let's do it.